Hello again. So I see a lot of um, a lot of people questioning how to center their laser or get an accurate position so they know where their laser is going to burn. Um, so their images are not offset, their designs are not offset, and I'm going to show you really fast, a really easy way how to do this, and um, hopefully this will help you out with burning pretty much anything. So the first thing is we have a fresh install of uh, Laser Gerbil, and uh, you may or may not have already installed the custom buttons if you see my other video, but I'm going to um, just add some buttons in real quick. I'm going to show you a quick program that I made that you're more than welcome to have. I'll add it in the description and some of the custom buttons and the ones that I made are pretty much the only ones that I need for um, pretty much anything that just trying to center it on the board. So I have this board here. I just picked two random places for the tape and I want to burn an image within that circle and have it center, not over here, not here, blah, blah, blah. So first things first is uh, you have um, laser gerbil. You, you should by now know where you're, which COM port you're going to be on. Mine happens to be seven. And down here you would right click and add custom buttons or import custom buttons. And in this case you probably have some different custom buttons that um, you may have downloaded from the other website, uh, from Laser Gerbil's website, like from my other video. But I happen to have some that I created. Um, and I want to show you, I made a quick program that basically um, what it does is it installs the custom buttons for you. It also sets up the, um, it also sets up the program with the information that it needs, the speed and so forth. And it actually adds um, some stuff for the material database. So I'm going to close Laser Gerbil. I'm going to run my program I made. And all it's going to do is just simply copy some files and it's going to click install and then you'll notice down here you probably towards the bottom you have um, it wants to authorize you got to click that and then click yes you might not have saw that so it's going to copy the files boom done close that and then when you load laser gerbil again you should have um, your program it should have some new icons down here now and um, when you go to the different configurations and settings, it will all be kind of the basic default from what your home recommends. Also, if you feel like it, if you go to Material Database, now you'll notice that you have the Eurohome 5.5 watt laser with different type of cuts. This is just a, a default that I uh, chose with some of the other things, so it is absolutely not accurate. Please do not go by this uh, 100%. Use your best judgment to make any changes you want to make, and we can add some more stuff in there. So anyway, let's um, go ahead and open up a picture. Um, in my case, I'm going to do this. I'm going to open that, and it's going to open up my little doggy. So most of this is pretty much you know, uh, the settings that you're going to have to customize, but I'm just going to go past this all for now and click next. So the important part on this screen is obviously your engraving speed, the S max is already set to 1000, but your size, that's what's important. So for example, this here, I want to only put the picture inside this frame. So what I really, really need to do, I'm going to switch the camera now to my table, which is really easy, is I want to know how wide the area is that I want to engrave. I'm just going to use four inches as a, as a, um, a default. Four inches wide by, um, I don't know, you can use anything up to seven. But to keep it proportional, I'm going to say, let's just say uh, four inches, oh, we have to do by millimeters. So what I'm going to do is load my browser, go to the com unit converter, inch to millimeter four inches is 101.6 101.6 and it automatically changes the height and that's important because you don't want to burn outside of this area so you want to know specifically how big of an image are you going to burn 
We're going to tell you where we're going to burn it in a minute, but we need to know that size. That's important. So back at the software, we're going to go ahead and click Create. Give that a second. And, whoops, I don't want to move this. I'm going to be able to see it. So now that we have that on there, let's go ahead and choose your COM port and click Connect. Now this connected should activate your new custom icons down here. And basically all they are is, what, what I've done is the most simple way to do this, is this is your image and you see the little plus sign down here? This is where your software thinks your laser is your starting point. So where we want the laser to be is the bottom left of our burning area, which is four inches pretty much. So basically we want our laser to be, let me get my little pointer, right here, right? Down here because we want it to burn four inches. So right here is where we want our laser to be at our home position, quote unquote, which is home or origin. And the software thinks it's at the bottom left also. So let's go ahead and turn our laser on. So we'll go ahead and turn the laser on and let's move the laser roughly where you think it might be here just as a check and now if you look at the buttons we have down here to custom buttons the first thing I would recommend would be to click this button to the right which I could probably move it here and if you want to adjust them right click unchoose lock position and you can actually drag that button over here if you wanted to and then right click and lock them and then it's right here so we'll just leave it there so let's click that and we're going to turn this on and you'll notice the laser here lit up and that's what we're going to use for focusing but we're also going to use it for our starting point. So right there is where roughly we want it to be. See it's just at that line there. Now that it's there, um, let's turn the laser off and it, it already thinks we're at the home position because see this is not highlighted. I mean it's not lit up. If I move the laser You'll notice now this is activated and I don't want to set the zero point. I want to go back to the home, which again, hit the laser light and you see it's right here, right on the thing there. So let's turn it back off. So these buttons here are, are what is going to be your best friend. These four buttons is going to be it right here. So what this does is, is this button here moves it to the bottom right of your image. So if we right now are to the left side of our image, what we're gonna do is click this and say, okay, let's move to the right side of the image and I'm gonna turn the laser on. So do you see where it's at? It's actually not quite center. I mean, it's, it's actually off a little bit away from this wall and if I tell it to come back here, it's gonna be closer to the tape. I'm not sure if you should be able to see this. So if I click this one back to the bottom left of the image, oh, let me turn the laser back on. See how it's over there. So I would say just grab the wheel a little bit and just move it to the right a little bit. Maybe a little bit. So you'd be off there. And now let's do it again. Let's turn the laser off and let's move it to the right and turn the laser on. So you see that little bit of distance there, a little bit over here. That's almost center. So that's pretty good. So now we know we are pretty much center left and right. And then now with these, turn the laser off. Now if you notice on my screen you have the bottom right, top right, top left, and bottom left. And all you really got to do is just go through that. So right now I'm going to say go to the top right of my image, turn the laser on, and you'll see right where it's at. And now I happen to not be square, unfortunately, and it takes my number, but this is just for example purposes. But I know it's within my burning area now. And if you look at my screen, you'll notice that, see the plus up here, the software thinks the laser is right here. And we know that it is. By looking at our board, it is at the top right area of what we want to burn. So I'm going to turn the laser off, and I'm going to say now, go to the top left. And I'm going to turn the laser back on, and you'll notice again, we are now right here. So now I know I've checked my bottom left, bottom right, top right, top left. Now we know it's going to be within that square. So let's turn the laser off and all the way to the right you'll see this go home position or you can actually use the home right here but let's just use the icon and it is now going to the home position which we think it's here the software thinks it's here and it actually is so 
Another thing here is if you wanted to know the center of your board, if you click this one here, it's actually going to move. If you look on my screen, it thinks it's at the center of the place where I want to burn. And if you turn the laser on, you'll notice it is dead center. So that's how we know now where the center of my burn is going to be. So now we have five different positions that we're telling this laser to move, laser to, move to that to, to set up. So let's turn the laser off and I'm going to tell it to go back home. So the next one here is the framing. It's with the laser on but low power. And I want to, well, I'm going to run it first and then I'm going to show you something. So what this is going to do is this is going to run the laser up around the entire image with the laser light on. Do you see my mouse on the screen? And then that, and I'm going to watch it. And when I'm watching it, I'm going to now see where that laser is going to absolutely burn. So I'm going to turn it on. And now if you can see the screen, you probably, let me turn this light off here. You can see the laser. It's actually running. If you notice it's running that whole square. That is exactly where I want it to burn. If it's not and it's off, you can just grab this wheel here and just roll it a little bit like that, or just grab this wheel and just roll it. I'd much rather do that than to grab the whole bar. Um, but anyway, I just move it a little bit. And if you're not sure, run it again. But I want to show you one thing real quick. If you right click on this icon and you click edit button, there's some code in here and one of them has the F2000. That is the speed of which that laser is going to run. I like the 2000 speed I um, just want to show you if I change it to 3000 and click save. Now you're going to notice I'm going to click go and the laser is going to run faster. And that's a complete preference, but I can actually see now where it's going. And that's right where I want it to be. So I just wanted you to know that you can change the speed of that if you choose to. And we'll click save. Now, you know, this one is if you're doing a circular framing. Um, you know, I did all these custom buttons. I did in pretty much right now, if I click home, it's at the home position. There is not much more that you need to do to know where that is going to burn. One of the things I do right away is when my image is here, I immediately go to the top right hand side of the wood and I turn my laser on. That's the first thing I personally do. And now I know where it's at up here. And I can measure here, and I can me so I can measure here, and then I can say, okay, now go to the bottom right. Turn the laser back on, and then I can measure this distance, and if I have to, adjust a little bit. But that's how easy it is to center any of your pieces of wood. Click back on the home position, and that's it. You're right where you need to be. Um, again, if you want my little program that I made to set up all your buttons for you, you can. If you would prefer to do it, um, just have the buttons. If you right click, go to import. Um, you'll, you just click custom buttons and it says remove buttons. It's like yes, remove or not to keep. So let's remove the buttons we have or you can add them to it. And you just click yes on all of them. And it just basically puts them, puts them there. Um, so e either way, I'll put a link in my description. You're more than welcome to have them. And I hope this helps with centering your projects. It's actually really easy. Just remember, you know, bottom left, top right, bottom right, top left. And then you have center. When I did my, um, when I did my uh, my big circular board recently, I used the centerpiece. And if you just want to see for the heck of it, we'll click the center circle here. And if you watch the laser, it's actually going to run in a circular motion. If you see it on the machine, so depending on the size, and remember the very first what determines the size of this picture is when you went and when your picture came up, then you click next right here. This size is really important because this size is the size that you want to burn in here. If you do larger, it's going to go outside and so forth. So that's, that's really it. I hope this helps. And um, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.